I'm David Raskin. I'm the senior scientist for Convaris, but I have a long history of academic uh, appointments and scientific research, and I conducted a laboratory for 25 years at the University of Utah where we literally developed the modern techniques for polygraph testing or lie detectors. And my student, Professor Kircher, and I developed the computerized polygraphs, which is now the standard polygraph instrument that's in use all over the world. Well, I'm a psychophysiologist by training, and polygraphs are an application of psychophysiology. You measure the same kinds of measurements you use in psychophysiological research. Psychophysiology is a science in which we attempt to make inferences about psychological processes and mental states by measuring bodily reactions, knowing how those reactions are generated, and then can make inferences about the psychological states that cause those reactions. So polygraph is an application of that. And I was asked by an attorney once to help him on a capital case with a polygraph test. He knew nothing about it. His client had taken this test, failed it. It was a capital case. So I educated him about it, and I testified as to how that technique that was used couldn't possibly work. And that was a general attitude of psychologists at the time. And I testified about it. The guy was acquitted. But it got me interested, and I thought, well, you know, this is not very good if people are using this for law enforcement purposes. We ought to do the research to show it doesn't work, put it to rest once and for all, because there wasn't any research. So I started doing research and found there are different techniques than that one, and we did the research on the one that's most often used, the comparison question test, and discovered it worked reasonably well. Not great, but better than chance. So I thought, well, if they're using it for law enforcement and uh, government purposes, then we should improve it. So I spent the next 25 years in my laboratory doing that. And that's how we ended up developing all these different techniques, question protocols, computer analysis, better recording techniques, and better instrumentation. I became involved uh, with the science team for iDetect uh, about five or six years ago, I think, because uh, Dr. Kircher told me about it. And the company that was initially formed got a license from the University of Utah and I was asked to become the senior scientist because I had a lot of experience in the field. I had many connections that would be helpful in popularizing the technology, showing people how it works. So it opened some doors. Plus, I have a lot of experience in scientific research on lie detection, so I could contribute to developing the protocols and the ways of using eye detect. So that's been a continuing effort. And then. Converis was formed about three or four years ago. They took over the license and developed a new company, which has been extremely active in developing and marketing the technology and improving it in ways that enhance its usability.